Jazzy G and Fruit get the advantage, it's going to be very hard for King Ark and Extra O to get back to like playing their neutral. Three, two, one, go. Uh, this song's so good too. Anyway, going to game one, I think that the matchup, the matchup that wanna be played, is probably I don't know. Toon Link and Mega Man are two characters that love to stay grounded and like when their opportunities come to them, they they take them. Like they they're not they're not players to like overcommit. And when they like need to overcommit, they make sure it's safe. Especially King Arc with Mega Man. I know he that he does a very good job at playing patient and he's very willing to wait you know, wait out the options when they need to come. But I think Pal would probably do better against um probably young like actually i don't think young Link has as many things to contest palu's like really sharp air game and like her her really good hitboxes in comparison to mega man jazzy oh jazzy jay's going crazy oh 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 okay let's go combos this ain't smash 4 i know you've heard that joke multiple times i'm sorry i should not have made it oh there goes the young downer from Extra O and King Arc kills uh, Fruit with that F smash. And now King Arc and King Extra O can just, just play their game. They can just, you know, they're very patient, as I said before, so they will just wait for their opportunities and just hold out this stock for as long as they can. Okay. Right now they're getting stuck by the ledge. This seems to be this seems to be a problem and an advantage for the red team. I think that their edge guard games are probably a lot better. Because I feel like Pal Pal's at guard at game is specific. She can like space back airs obviously a lot of the time and is able to contest a lot of hitboxes due to the clanking uh, mechanic on her back air. And I think Jazzy G is actually doing a, a very good job at like making sure that during these 1v1s she's not like getting totally like, you know, because cause, Bayo, what I want to say is when Bayo is not on the ground, it's a little hard for her to get down, especially because of all the end lag on most of her moves and stuff like that. Downer is a good landing tool in, in, in which uh, Jazzy has used twice uh, recently, and it, and it has worked. But uh, Jazzy is doing a really good job at making sure that when he lands, that he's not um he's not like getting too comboed by whatever character he's fighting. But that Downer is going to take a good job from Extra to come down with an aerial. Ooh, ooh, there we go. We got the combos again. Ooh, nice. Okay, that was a good job from Jazzy G, knowing that the combo would drop and making sure she he saved the um the the jump to get the jump back here. Well, I don't remember what he did. Did he do ABK back here? I'm not actually sure. But looking pretty even right now. Oh, except fruit accidentally SD. I think. Unfortunately, thought maybe she had to jump and try to help me. Oh, 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 oh my god, what is happening? Good stuff from Jazzy G getting back from that weird, like, angle he got sent at was just, like, I didn't understand what happened. But good job from Extra O for, like, stock taking till 150. It was a really good job at, like, taking advantage of how she can, uh, how he can run away and just play the runaway game the whole time while King Arc was mainly playing the front and being the main aggressor. But, oh, Fruit actually had an up smash um, on the ledge and was interrupted by, I think, uh, Extra's projectile. Not sure which one it was, though. Wow, just living. Crazy. Crazy how Jazzy's holding on to this stock. Oh, okay, okay. I like the mix-up from Jazzy in an attempt to, like, come back to the stage in a different way, but at that percent, I really don't think a mix-up was necessary to, you know, try and mess up your opponent's, you know, mindset or whatever. This is going to be a little hard for Fruit. Both projectiles can kind of just camp out. Oh, back throw. That's going to take it. <gasps> King Arc makes a mistake, unfortunately. Went for that up till too late and didn't confirm from the, the Metal Gear. Okay, but this is the uh, the oppressive game of extra, you know, Young Link. You're not going to be able to um, get in on extra unless you find a... Oh! Unless extra makes a mistake like that, this could be bad. Oh, <gasps> the counter! Good tech from extra O. Still, uh, fruit in advantage. Down tilt. Up here? What?
Dang. Fruit was doing a really good job at, like, making sure that she wasn't overcommitting too much. She was playing the 2v1 very well. Um, but that down tilt uppy was not a confirm, though, so I guess just Fruit was not expecting to get down tilt uppy. I definitely would have not have expected to get down tilt uppy, but, you know, I guess, I guess extra on it. I knew, you know? Extra on it. I could see a counter pick to Battlefield, maybe, for platform extensions. Town, probably, too, for platform extensions. If they want to kill earlier, which it, they, I feel like they didn't even have trouble killing. Like, most of that game was pretty much even. But, um... Maybe... I know Kalos is a good stage for able to have room, and that platform can help out sometimes to uh, help play some camping games. But I feel like Extro loves Kalos, so I'm not sure that would be the best idea either. But, getting into game number two, same characters. Where did we go? We went back to Smashville, it looks like. Like I said, they weren't doing terrible, but they just had some little, like, oomphs in their gameplay that would have otherwise helped them win. Alright. Um, let's see. I think, uh, extra... And King Ark are doing a really good job at like playing the lead, but uh, but um sometimes they just like get c lose control of like where they are on the stage with each other, and like sometimes projectiles will accidentally hit each other. Well, and, and that is reasonable because of like the team and like you know they're, they're both of their intentions obviously aren't purposely trying to hit each other, but sometimes it'll just happen. Maybe they should be trying to be more aware of where both of they both of them, both of them are. Sometimes they'll hit obviously on accident, but. You know, maybe their projectiles can like help each other and stuff like that. And Metal Blade can interrupt certain combos. You know, when Extra is getting comboed, and you know, just being aware of where your teammate is at all times is very important. I think that you know, you know, seeing that they have a grab, maybe like say, oh, throw it to me, throw it to me, or you know, even projectiles or anything like that, or when you're off stage and getting edge guarded can be. Oh, apparently Extra died. I didn't see what happened, but I like the mix-up attempts from Fruit for going on the platforms and doing the platform cancels. Out of warp. Uh, good DI from Fruit, living that. Oh, same. And living again. Um, they need to do a better job at, like, getting past, um, they're not really dealing with, um, extra O too well. Like, they're just getting caught by the same stuff. Like, they both got hit by Boomerang Fair. And a lot of them, are, both of them are actually getting caught by that down air too. Coming down, Extro is just kind of abusing it because they know he knows that they don't know how to punish it. Whoa, Fruit going crazy with the parries. I like it. But game pretty much even. King Ark holds on to the stock. I King Ark has been doing a really good job this game actually of holding on to the stocks. I haven't seen him trying to interact too much in neutral, and has just been playing a pretty good runaway game as you know bait and punish. Like right now, he, he's doing a pretty good job staying away from most of the action. Just kind of playing in his little corner, not playing too unsafe. But he was at 1A, so he, you know, it's respectful. This game still is quite, quite even, actually. Oh no, Fruit SDing, unfortunately. Dang. They, they were doing very well, too. That might throw them off a bit, but still, not even too bad of a game, to be honest. They kill, um... If they kill off extra right now, it's pretty much even. Ooh, King Ark getting his combos on. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's go, Jazzy getting that nice little, uh, I don't know if it's, it's called Bats, right? It's just called Bats? I think I'm pretty sure it's called Bats. Bats Within? Okay, yeah, Bats Within helps Jazzy G escape that. Uh, kill Smash. I think it was Smash Tag, I'm not sure if I'm Um, but this is looking pretty bad for Red Team. Unfortunately, that I see from Fruit really cost them the lead and kind of threw off their momentum of like how they were playing. Like I feel like doubles comes with a certain amount of flow, especially when you and your teammate are working very well together. You guys have like a certain amount of like, oh, you know, you know what to do in certain situations, and like when one, one of you is getting comboed, you know how to interrupt it, and there's like certain moves that you know connect with each other. Like that kind of mentality is very good for a team to have. And most of the time when you and your teammate are playing well together, there's a sort of flow that happens. And when that flow happens, you guys are like, 
working together and making sure you guys are like communicating and everything. But when that throw, when that you know momentum gets interrupted by an SD or an unfortunate stock, then it just kind of turns into blah and kind of goes all wonky. Okay, well, that was that set. Comes all around. Word.